Good day learners. Our lesson for today is all about rate, base, and percentage. What is rate? Rate is normally written in percent form and is the condition to be satisfied. How about base? Base is the original amount or value that represents the whole. How about the percentage? Percentage is the result of taking the rate of its base. Let us see the diagram of percentage, base, and rate. This is the diagram of the tree. R is for rate, P is for base, and P is for percentage. Now, let's see the formula. Formula for rate. Rate is equal to percentage divided by base. This is the rate and this is the percentage and this is the base. So R is equal to percentage divided by base. R is equal to P divided by B. How about formula for base? This is the base. Same with the rate. So, B is equal to P divided by rate. Or base is equal to percentage divided by rate. That's it. B is equal to P divided by R. How about formula for percentage? We're going to multiply R and P, the rate and the base. So, percentage time, percentage is equal to rate times base. So, P is equal to R times B. Let's see. Example. Solving for percentage. Example. The 85% of 500 is blank. What is 85%? 85% is the rate. How about 500? 500 is the base and blank is the percentage. 85, we're going to multiply. 85 rate times base is equal to percentage diba yun yung formula so rate times base is equal to percentage let's multiply 85% times 500 but before that we're, we're going to gagawin natin siyang decimal yung 85% gawin muna natin siyang decimal yung 85% bago natin multiply sa 500. Ano yung decimal form of 85%? Yung decimal form ng 85% is 0 0.85. So, dito yung point, ililipat doon, and then, mag-move tayo ng dalawa. So, dito na yung point. Ito na yung point. So, 0 0.85. So, R times B is equal to P. R is 0 0.85 times B is 500 is equal to P. So, 0 0.85 times 500 is equal to P is 0 0.85 times 500 is equal to 425. So, the 85% of 500 is equal to 445. The percentage is 425. Another example. Solving for rate. Rate is question mark. Hindi natin alam. Yun ang hahanapin natin. Yung rate. Now, yung base natin is 500. Yung percentage natin is 425. Paano natin kukunin yung rate na yun? Rate. Ano yung formula natin sa rate? Rate is equal to percentage divided by 
base. So, R is equal to P divided by B. R is equal to 425 divided by 500. So, iti divide lang natin si 425 sa 500. 425 divided by 500 is 0 0.85. So, ang rate natin is 0 0.85. So, gawin natin siyang percent. Yung form na decimal 0 0.85, gawin natin siyang 85%. I-move lang natin yung point 0.1, 2. Kaya magiging 85%. Now, solving for base. Yung rate natin is 85%. Gawin natin decimal point. So, magiging 0 0.85. Yung base natin, hinahanap natin. Hindi natin alam. Yung percentage is... 425 So, ang formula natin is Base is equal to Percentage divided by Rate So, ang base Ang percentage natin is 425 I-divide natin yung 425 sa 0 0.8 Yung rate natin So, B is equal to 425 divided by 0 0.85 Ang sagot B is equal to 500. So, yung base natin is equal to 500. Another example. Let's, let's see the percentage. Ang hinahanap natin is percentage. Yung rate natin is 12%. So, gawin natin siyang decimal. So, dito yung point. Ay, dito pala. I should say, dito yung point. Gawin natin decimal point. 1, 2, kaya naging 0 0.12. Yung base natin is 1,000. Ang hinahanap natin is percentage. Anong gagawin natin? We're going to multiply the rate and base. So, P is equal to R times B. P is equal to... 0, wala ito, wala. 0 0.12 times 1,000. So, 0 0.12 times 1,000 is equal to 120. So, our percentage is 120. Another example, ang hahanapin natin is si rate. Ito naman, hahanapin natin si rate. Ang base natin is 750. Ang percentage natin is 135. So, ang formula natin is R is equal to P divided by B. Ang percentage natin is 135 and ang base natin is 750. So, 135 divided by 750 is 0.8 or 18%. Another example, ang rate natin is 110, gawin natin decimal point, 1.10. Base natin, hanapin natin yung base. And ang percentage natin is 660. So, ang formula natin is B is equal to percentage divided by rate. Percentage is 660 and ang rate is 101.10, 1 I should say. So, 660 divided by 1.10 is equal to 600. That's all for today, class. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned from Teacher April. Have a good day. See you next time.